Hey guys, today I'm going to be filming you the ultimate summer makeup look. Um, basically what I did was I just did a very warm toned eyeshadow with a pop of color under on the waterline and then a fun pink lip and a very bronzed face. So pretty much if you guys want to see how I achieved this look, then just keep watching. So first off, I'm just going to be taking some moisturizer. This is an aloe soothing moisturizer by The Body Shop, and this has SPF 15 in it, which is really important to protect your skin, especially in the summer. And then I'm just going to prime my skin before I apply my makeup with my Smashbox Primer Water. And then for foundation, I'm going to be using this Bare Minerals Bare Skin brightening serum foundation and I'm just going to be applying that with the brush that it comes with. Um, I like using this or a BB cream in the summer just because this foundation in particular is really lightweight and it really doesn't feel like you're wearing anything on your skin which I really like and same with that for a BB cream. So usually if I wear anything at all it will be either this foundation or a BB cream so I just make sure that that is all blended in. Then I just take my Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Concealer, and I don't usually use this under my eyes just because it's pretty thick, so I cover my blemishes and pimples with this, and I really like this because it's really sturdy and it won't move or slide off your face during the day. Then for under my eyes, I'm going to be going in with two different concealers. One is a little bit lighter than the other, and that is my Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay. Then after that, I go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and this is in a darker shade. So I mix those two together just because I really like the way it turns out, and it comes out really flawlessly. And I use a lighter one mixed with the darker one because the lighter one will give you more of a brightening effect and then the darker one just tones it down a little bit and I just blend that in with a Real Techniques brush that I've really been loving and that is the pointed foundation brush. Next after that I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and just lightly fill in my eyebrows, nothing too harsh and the color that I am is soft brown so I pretty much just fill them in really lightly. I don't want it to be too dramatic or noticeable and then I just blend that together using the spoolie brush on the other end. So that is the face so far. Next, moving on, I'm going to be taking my Tarte Bronzer. And I really like this because it's shimmery. And I'm just going to be applying that in a really, really harsh line where I want to bronze and contour. And then I end up going in with a Sephora brush that's super fluffy and just blending that all together. And I'm not really trying to contour. I'm just pretty much bronzing up the face. Now for blush, I'm taking my Dream Mousse blush by Maybelline, and this is in Pink Frosting, and I just apply that with my fingers. Then for highlight, I'm taking my Becca Champagne Pop, this is by Jaclyn Hill, on a fan brush, and I load my face up with this stuff just because when it shines in the sun or in the light, you just look like you are glowing, and I absolutely love it. Now moving on for eyes, I am going to be using my Kat Von D eyeshadow palette and I'm going to be going in to a kind of taupey color on this angled fluffy brush by Eco Tools and I'm kind of using this color as a transition shade because I will be putting another color over it and I will put all of the eyeshadow names in the description box below if you are wondering. But I really like this palette just because the shadows are really pigmented and nice. And so I just pretty much worked that into my crease. Then I'm going to be taking just this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to be taking this, the lightest color in the palette. It's just a pearly white color and dusting that all over my lids. Also, I just add some to my inner corners and my brow bone. 
Then I'm going to take the darker color. This one is more cool tone gray, but I do warm it up at the end. And I just bring this into my crease just to darken it up a little bit and add some more de definition. Now I'm taking a smaller precision brush by Eco Tools, and I'm going in with this kind of ready, not ready obviously, but it's more of a red toned color and it's kind of rusty. That's the word I'm kind of looking for to describe this color. It's really, really pretty. It's kind of a rusty looking red and I just pretty much do, draw a line in my crease and then I go back in and blend it out and that just really adds a warmer tone to my lids. Now I'm going to go in with a aqua blue eyeliner. Um, I'm not sure who this is by. I can't really. It's Itony, I think. Um, I got it in an Ipsy bag, but I'm just going to be applying that to my lower waterline because summer is the most appropriate time to be having fun with your makeup. So I just used this eyeliner for a pop of color on my waterline. Now, of course, I'm going to be adding some mascara, and I really am going to be loading up on my mascara just because I don't want it to slide off, and it's waterproof. And I can't stress enough that waterproof mascara is really, really important because it will smudge if it isn't waterproof. And if you're going to go swimming or anything, that's really important. Then I'm going to be some doing some contouring on my lips it sounds kind of crazy but um first i'm just going to be taking this nyx matte lipstick and i'm going to be just applying that to the center of my lips then i ended up end up going in with a darker shade lipstick and this is by bella pierre cosmetics um i also got this in an ipsy bag and I'm going to be applying that to the outer portions of my lips and it looks kind of crazy like I don't really know how to explain it. Almost like a butterfly. I don't know. But then I just blend it together with my ring finger. And then after that, I go in with my Clinique Chubby Stick in Whoppin' Watermelon. Just to add a shine over it and blend it a little bit more. Then I grab my highlighter once again on my ring finger and just add a little bit more shimmer. And I really like the way that this turned out. So that is the end of the video and I really hope that you guys enjoyed. And I know I've been saying this but I do have a DIY like summer video coming up. So I hope that you guys will stay tuned for that and let me know if you guys enjoyed this makeup look it's pretty basic but it's super easy and anyone can do it so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching